USMLE examination. In the history of examination, these are the longest examinations. All right. Now we'll understand step one, which is online. Step two, CK, which is online, happens in India. CS is a practical exam, and step three again is an online exam. CS examination currently has been temporarily suspended and they are coming up with a new version so there's no use to talk about how the old exam was happening so we will not discuss about cs exam but when you talk about step one the portion is first two years of mbbs and people prepare from first year appear in third year of mbbs ck portion is clinical year people appear in internship year and step three can be given only after graduation and clearance of step one ck and cs all the examination now step one is an eight hour long exam step two ck is a nine so in a history of examination these are long examinations when are those exams conducted every day throughout the year monday to friday in something called as pro metric center what is the exam format this is online exam seven blocks of 40 questions to so total 280 questions in step one and 318 questions questions in step 2 CK these are online exams all questions each and every question is a patient case so you might be wondering subjects are first and second year how can you have a patient case but that's the beauty of USMLE exam a lot of students parents who are doctors in India they make their sons and daughter prepare for USMLE even if they don't want to send them to America why because if you prepare for USMLE your patient diagnosing skills improve a lot you learn why are you studying anatomy and what is the implication of it in the clinical scenario. You learn the pathophysio format application in a clinical medicine scenario. That is how the exams are conducted. So next exam is all the subjects together, but USML is divided initially only first two years and then in the final year portion all right that is the biggest difference now those who want to see the actual usmle style questions i will send you a link at the end where you can get a free mock test and uh, you can appear and check out how the actual exam works next of course is the scoring system unlike indian exams step one ck and step three these examination work on a scale Everybody gets minimum 140, maximum 280. That's the range in which passing is 194. But a good score is 240. So all the international students target the score of 240 on step one, step two CK and step three. In case of step one, passing is 194, 209 for step two CK, 196 for step three. Now what I mentioned that you can appear it once is because if you pass, Anybody who passes the exam cannot improve the score. The scores get locked for seven years. If somebody fails, they can attempt three more times. No problem. But these are very expensive exams to fail. Now, from 2022, the step one exam is going to become pass and a fail. Mind you, only step one exam. What does that mean? That they will not release this three digit marks. Okay. And what does that imply? It implies that maybe the passing marks might increase or the difficulty level of exam might increase currently the step one exam is not that difficult to pass to get 240 it's a difficult task but passing step one is not that difficult so there is an anticipation that once the exam becomes pass and a fail the exam standard might become a little more difficult so let me show you the current pass rates of step one and step ck information about usml is there on this website called as usmle.org okay, you go on performance data and yes you will be able to see the pass rate so as you can see passing step one is not a big deal first time appearing students 82 percent of them pass getting 240 was a challenge and hence once the exam become fail you will have to be worried about the difficulty level which might increase having said that they will still have ck and step three which will be scored and 240 will be the target is there any rule that step one has to be cleared with an internship? No, Sushmita. There is no rule as such. I have doctors, senior doctors working in big hospitals in India at the age of 40, 45 also give USMLE. 
so there is no age limit but it is making obvious sense shushmita to prepare for step 1 when i am studying the same subject in my medical college why do i study later on what's the meaning of it if i am in first and second year it makes so much sense that while i prepare for this subject and if i am a first second and third year student i am a batch which definitely has to write the next exam so there is no second thought in fact when the next exam was announced in february thousands of students have registered with moksh the reason is very simple everybody is now very serious that if we want to pass next exam we need to learn us family style so people are clear that yes preparing for it from first year makes so much sense these subjects and people appear this in third year simple as that so you understand from the subjects and of course in internship year people appear the ck exam because these are the subjects for ck i hope this is making sense akshata is asking can step 3 be taken at the end of residency akshata it depends on the residency program step 3 can be given during the residency before the residency or after the residency generally akshata indian students are very impatient they give step 1 in the third year ck in internship year and step 3 before they start the residency will they not get back to cs after covid absolutely yes priyanka but a new version of cs not the same version of cs they are changing the cs they are bringing a new cs examination because of the corona situation and future pandemics they don't want to take a risk so they are coming up with a new version and for that the discussion is going on there is no exact date when the new exam comes but currently they are doing the brainstorming as to how they will be conducting the new examination no hana is saying if we need to work in our country do we need to give step 3 no no you don't have to give step 3 but i personally advise student to give the step 3 because you never know in future if you want to go back to us and if you miss the 7 year deadline you will have to repeat all the four exams so people don't do that they usually ensure that they give step 3 come back so that you have a permanent entry to american job market whenever you want to go back now why is this 240 marks very important because until unless you hit 240s okay only then you get good specializations okay anybody getting less than 215 does not get any admission 215 to 240 you can get into psychiatry neurology pediatrics or internal medicine more than 240 you get into obgy general surgery vascular surgery radiology ophthalmology radiation oncology plastic surgery neurosurgery so that's why 240 is very very important score